Hi guys. Um, so this video is going to be short. Um, it's going to be one of, I guess, four um, about the articles we're reading um, for this unit. So the um, the Russell, uh, the Plato, the Descartes, and the Code. So I'm going to make just a, a, a short video for each one, hoping that something I say might um, help to explain the article. The Russell article is really brief, um, as you know, or will know when you look at it, which is why this video is going to be um, on the briefer side as well. The reason for reading the Russell article for me is just to sort of get the conversation going, to really um, suggest, perhaps for the first time, um, to you um, or for you to suggest to yourself that what we think we know or what we think that we take to be real, um, if we really ask ourselves, um, how do we know that? Um, we might find that we don't really know it and that there are in fact good reasons to question um, what we think or take to be real and what we think or take ourselves to know. So I like the, the way in which Russell gets us to sort of, hmm, Okay, and maybe a contemporary, um, well, maybe not so contemporary, but um, uh, let's call it contemporary. A contemporary example of that is the movie The Matrix. I'm not sure how many of you have seen the movie The Matrix. I strongly recommend it. Um, and if you have any good philosophical movie recommendations, send them along my way. I'm always looking for good philosophical movies. Um, but so if you've seen The Matrix, um, or if you haven't, um, it's basically a movie about this guy who um, he thinks that he's living like this normal life. He thinks that he has this job and he lives in this apartment or whatever. And then he finds out that in fact, none of that is, is true, that he's really like existing in some sort of pod like of muck with his body plugged into some sort of you know computer like his body's acting like a battery and um everything that he took to be real or thought was real or thought that he knew um he's just plain wrong about um so if we think about our own reality our own existence like you know, this is what Descartes is gonna is going to show to us. I believe that I'm sitting in a chair at my dining room table, enjoying a cup of coffee. You know, with my things about on this particular day. But if I ask myself, what is the evidence that I actually have um, to support those beliefs? Um, and might I be mistaken about that evidence? And how would I know? It becomes hard to say that I really am certain or can be or should be certain of these things that I take myself to know. Russell talks about the table, um, right? His last, last little um, few sentences there say, um, hence two very difficult questions at once arise, namely, one, is there a real table at all? And two, if so, what sort of object can it be, right? Because depending on the light, depending on the angle, depending on um, your own vision, um, things appear one way or another. So how are they really, right? That's the metaphysical question. And how do I know? That's the epistemological question. So I don't have too much more to say other than that about the Russell. Again, I really sort of see it as a conversation starter. And I hope, I'm sure some of you out there are like, what are we talking about? This is crazy that we're questioning, you know, the existence of your coffee cup, Becky. Like, that's nuts. Um, well, maybe, but... Maybe it's actually more nuts to march along with this degree of certainty. Um, okay, so that's what I got. Um, we will move on now to the Plato. Quite a bit to say there. So I um, hope things are going well. Remember, you can check in with me. I'm a real person. So um, 
That's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.